this month's Amazon fashion haul is all based on your request. So over on Instagram stories, I put out a little poll asking you what you wanted to see from Amazon fashion this month and overwhelmingly was cozy things, specifically cardigans and pajamas. And I have nine cardigans and two pairs of pajamas to share with you along with a few other things. I'm gonna do the sit down part and then we'll get over to the try on. I tried something new this time, um, not the film, I, I am filming in the newer spot that I like to do my try-ons, but I'm also trying out playing music while I do my poses because it's very awkward to just stand there and pose, pose, turn, whatever, I'm not a model. So uh, it's really hard to for me to sit still when the music's playing, so just forgive my wacky dancing. Uh, and there may be a cameo by a dancing dog in there as well. So another request I got from many of you was a recommendation for no-show socks. And I scoured through reviews, I ordered a few pairs, and the ones that are standing out are these. I actually have them in this gray, in white, in black, and in nude. You can choose to get just a solid color pack. I can't remember how many of these come in a pack. I just got another shipment in. You can get like all gray or all white or all nude or all black or multi-pack of different colors. These are great, they work well in, on sneakers, they work well on my booties that have the cutouts on the side, and they don't ride down or scooch down on my ankle, which makes me, or my heel, I guess I should say, which makes me nuts. So I am really loving these, and they are linked down below. When I keep saying link down below, I'm mentioning the description box, and what I mean is if you are, I can't remember where it is, I think there's like a little carrot next to the title underneath me, if you're watching on a desktop, and I think above me if you're watching on um, a mobile device. I need to confirm that one of these days. Anyway, loving these no-show socks. Also, let's talk about some new makeup. I am wearing an all matte eye look, which I never do, but I ordered this Lorac Pro matte palette, and I really like it. Here it is. Um, you can basically tell where I've been dipping into this, this row, pretty much. My only complaint is this nice rich tan brown does not come off that way on my skin it actually comes out more of a cool tone when i blend it out it's even showing up warmer on my hand but on my eyes it's a little more cool toned so i don't know if anyone else has had that experience i could definitely warm it up using this burgundy shade here which i did this time so it is very versatile I don't often do, or actually I rarely do, an all matte eye, but um, this is a nice base for just a matte eye look, or if you wanted to throw in some shimmer sparkle with some of your favorite single eyeshadows, this is a nice little compliment. And then the other product, it's not new, but it's a new shade. I have been loving the NYX, what is it called? Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I had been using the shade Ash Brown this whole time. I recently switched over to Taupe, just in the last few days, and it's enough of a difference. I felt like the ash brown was looking a little too dark. There's the taupe. It looks a little bit warm toned, and it is, but when you balance it out with the NYX Brow Mascara and Blonde, I feel like it gives a really nice look. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like the taupe, or have you been preferring the ash brown that you've seen in pretty much all the videos preceding this for the last month or so? Let me know. A couple more items before we get to the try-on portion. A lot of you have been asking for more affordable booties, and these are a dead-on dupe for my Steve Madden Cedar booties. Um, these are, I don't know what brand they are, but I'll put the link, I don't know the name of the company, but I'll put the link down below. I ordered them in this solid black. When I am looking for black booties, I want more of a sleeker look. I feel like black is generally a more sophisticated color to begin with, and it kind of makes me nuts when you get a black leather booty and then the brown wooden heel. So I like that they give you the option of having the all black booty, but this comes in, I mean, I think maybe 30 or 40 options. I do have a nice brown suede version sitting in my cart. I wanted to wait and see how these Fit. They fit the same as the Steve Madden's. I like that they have the zipper on the back. I don't like slip-on boots or booties. I feel like it just, I need a zipper. These are brand new, so they're a little stiff. Obviously, they're not real leather, but they don't have that cheap, shiny look to them that faux leather has, so I've been really enjoying these, and they 
feel and fit just the same as the Steve Madden's. And then the last thing I have for the sit down portion, speaking of all things cozy, is a pillow recommendation. Tons of people have been talking about these. It's a white pillow, like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let me just tell you about the pillow. These are the Beckham Hotel Collection gel filled pillows and so many positive reviews for these. I initially bought these for my boys for their at school apartments and they love them so much that them that when they would come home on break or to visit they would bring their pillows home with them so i finally just caved and bought two they come in a pack of two um for both of the boys rooms and the guest room so they're covered they are really nice they feel like real down um, they're very squishy they're not they're gel filled so they're hypoallergenic they come in a set of two i believe it's just under $40 for the queen size and like $59.99 for the king size and that's two pillows. It's a really good price and they're, they're fabulous. You will fall in love with them. So if you're looking for new pillows or you're like me and you're preparing to have guests come to stay at the house over the holidays and you want to freshen up the bed a little bit, check out those pillows. You will not be disappointed. Let's get into the try on portion. Okay, here we go. I have nine cardigans to walk you through. Uh, the actual outfit I'm wearing them with isn't gonna change, so the links to the shirt, the jeans, and the booties will be down at the very end of the description box. So just scroll through all the stuff and you'll see where those are linked. But let's start with cardigan number one. This is described as a knit ribbed cardigan. I am wearing it in the shade Army Green. It does come in 21 colors, so if this olive tone green is not your thing, Thank you, Amazon, for giving us many, many, many options. I should say that every single one of these cardigans and both pairs of pajamas that I'm gonna show you are all size small. And I'm saying that because I want you to see how the fit changes from cardigan to cardigan, because there is some variation on sizing. And my measurements and all the stuff that are pertinent to sizing information are also down in the description box. So I love this it's just a nice kind of more rectangular shaped cardigan i like how it drapes it's a little bit finer knit so it doesn't feel bulky and it's just a great layering piece i love that it also has nice deep pockets i prefer a cardigan that has pockets and i think you're going to note that most of these cardigans do not button and this is the same they're all considered open front cardigans next we have this chunky knit cardigan but i feel like that's a bit of a misnomer it feels almost like a more open chenille yarn weave. It's not chenille, it's not nearly as soft as chenille, which is nice. It's a nice step, I guess, down from how soft, because sometimes chenille can just be too, it's too much, it's too soft, it's too squishy. To me, it feels like those Angora sweaters I used to wear when I was a kid. Initially, it feels great, but this, that extra layer of softness can get kind of annoying. So this isn't rough by any means, but it's not nearly as like, squishy and soft as chenille, but it, it's a it's similar, I should say. Um, I'm wearing it in the shade navy blue. It's a definite lighter weight. It's not a real thick, heavy yarn. Um, slightly, I'd say, open weave. So if you're living in a really, really cold area, this might not be enough warmth for you. And as far as fit goes, I did want to point out that these arms do fit a little bit tighter than the previous cardigan. So if you're concerned with it being too tight around the arms, whether you have bigger arms or maybe you want to wear a heavier piece underneath, I'm wearing a really kind of lightweight waffle type tee. I would size up just to get some more room in the arms. As I wore it, it did stretch out a little bit, but it still felt more snug than the previous one. This cable knit cardigan that I'm wearing reminds me sort of of a grandpa sweater. It does actually have functional buttons, so you can button it up. It has the nice pockets. It also comes in, like they all come in a lot of colors. Most of them come in over 30 options. I would say that this definitely runs true to size. However, if you actually wanted it to be functional where you button it up, I would maybe size up one. Like I said, I'm wearing it in a size small and I am larger chested, so that may have some effect on how it buttons, but it, it's a little snug and I personally like my cardigans to fit more loosely. It's fine if I wear it the way I like to wear cardigans where it's just open and I have no intention of buttoning it, but I did want to point out that if this is a cardigan you're buying because it buttons, you may want to size up one, especially if you're larger chested or you have wider hips or a little bit of a belly. Okay, I have all three of those things, so 
might want to size up if you want to button it. Next, I want to show you three striped cardigans. Now, none of these are new to me. You've seen them here before, but they are still available on Amazon, still all considered bestsellers by Amazon standards, and I love pulling them out season after season. The first one, I don't want to say I have a favorite, but I love the colors on this one. I don't know if this exact color combination is still available with that like lavender orchid stripe and then the army green stripe. I just love those two colors together. This is more of a kimono style cardigan. And when I say kimono style, the neckline, if you take the cardigan off, it's more of a, tri it's almost like a poncho cut, like a triangle cut. And then you just drape it around your shoulders. No pockets, which I will admit makes me crazy. And this is a thicker gauge knit, so it's not as soft and cozy. It's still, none of these are rough to the touch by any means, but this is just sort of a medium weight, I would say, kind of knit to it. So it's not a real luxurious feeling like the fine gauge knits that you might see on like a cashmere level, but I love how it drapes, I love how it hangs. I do wish it had pockets, but you can't have everything. And then the next striped sweater, this one is more of a traditional style. It just, you know, you put your arms in like normal. It's not more, it's not really a kimono style. Very similar to the first striped one. Um, this one, I believe is a little bit longer and it is definitely more on the finer gauge knit side. So it does feel softer to the touch. Still no pockets, but um, I just, again, I love the colors. And like I mentioned in all the previous cardigans, there are several, more than several color combinations. So you can find exactly what you are looking for to fit your outfit. And then this last striped cardigan is the longest of the bunch. I call it like my ice cream cone uh, cardigan, just because the color combination I picked reminds me of like just really pastel-y, like an ice cream shop. I don't know why. This one is again, very, very fine gauge knit longer length, no pockets, lighter weight. So this is just more of like a topper to an outfit than anything that's gonna truly keep you warm. But where I live, that's just perfect because I'm in Texas. Anyway, I love all three of these striped cardigans. I love the different prints, the different stripes, the different options, the different lengths, the different knits. So all three of them are slightly different and that's why I included all of them in this haul. Next is this chunky blue knit cardigan. I've had this one almost two years. I actually wore this to a Kendra Scott trip that we had just before the pandemic uh, started. It was the last trip that I took. And I, it's more of a true traditional thick, chunky knit, but still soft cardigan. I love this particular color, of course. There are other options. I love that it has pockets. It's cut a little bit more of a circle fit than a straight up and down fit, if that makes sense. If you're familiar with the Barefoot Dream Circle Cardigans, you'll know that they kind of wrap around, especially around your legs, where more traditional cardigan cut just drapes straight down. So this one does curve a little bit around the body, super cozy, slightly oversized, as you can see, and I personally love this blue. It just makes the whole outfit. And then this last cardigan that I have to show you, I'm just looking for a basic black cardigan. I rarely, as I'm sitting here wearing all black, rarely wear anything where black is the coordinating color, but every once in a while I want a black cardigan and this one fit the bill. It's more like, it feels almost like a waffle knit. Um, it's kind of like a bat wing style. Again, it's more of that circular feeling and it does come in lots of colors, slightly shorter length than some of the other ones that I shared with you. But it's just one of those nice closet staples. You need to have those basic black, gray, camel, like the go-to foundational colors before you add on to all, with all the stripes and the fun, you know, like cheetah print ones. So this is definitely one that might not be all that fun to look at, but it definitely serves a purpose in my closet. We're gonna close with two pairs of pajamas because I did get a lot of requests for pajamas. I only have two so far to share with you. And I would say that for, well, you know, let's just get into it. So this first pair of pajamas is very classic cut kind of based on the classic men's pajamas. It comes in 45 colors. If you're looking for Christmas pajamas, there are several patterns or prints that they have that would definitely fit that bill. I wanted something that reminded, most of my decorating for winter holidays are blue and white. So I picked these and they're super soft. They're very lightweight. They're not gonna be what you reach for in absolute freezing temperatures, but I, like to feel cozy, but at night I don't, I'll get overheated if I'm wearing something really thick and heavy uh, under the blanket. So I like this lighter weight. It actually feels very similar to the Soma 
Cool Nights pajamas material. It's not Cool Nights material. It's not gonna wick away the moisture like the Cool Nights will, but these are significantly less expensive. Uh, they don't have pockets. The buttons are functional. I, let, I don't know that you can see it in the try-on, but they, the, it has a drawstring waist that ties with like a white satin ribbon, which is very pretty. Uh, even the buttons have branding on it, which I thought was a really nice touch. I think these would make an absolute great gift, especially if you're planning like a girl's trip or something where you want everyone to have matching pajamas. These would be great for that. And then this last pair of pajamas, it's actually what I'm wearing right now. It's more of a loungewear set. It's the same or very similar type fabric. It's really lightweight. It's really drapey. It's, it's cozy. I'm sitting here and it's 50 degrees and we don't have the heat on yet and I'm very comfortable in the, I don't think it's 50 degrees in my house, but it's cold outside and I feel very comfortable. I don't feel cold at all. But this is definitely something I would recommend looking into if you wanna have something to lounge around the house in and if someone happens to ring your doorbell, you're not gonna be embarrassed opening the door in your pajamas. These are more like a lounge set of pajamas and the pants are more jogger style. They're still a drawstring, but they do have functional pockets, which I do prefer. I don't even put really stuff in my pockets. I just like knowing that I have them if I need them. Maybe I'll throw my phone in there, but this is really comfortable. I like just this little stripe detail. It just adds a little something, makes it actually look like it's an outfit and not pajamas. And these come in 14 colors. And I do wanna mention the slippers that I'm wearing. I have two pairs of these, one in more of nude, one in the gray that you're seeing now and they are so comfortable and if you are looking for a really really nice very much appreciated holiday gift these slippers are amazing they do run small so i would size up one but i think a really fun gift would be a pair of those slippers with either these pair of pajamas or the previous ones you cannot go wrong with them they're just amazing and i like the slip-in kind um, and these happen to be, I think, one of the all-time bestsellers of all slippers on, on the Amazon website. Everyone who loves gets them loves them. Well, that's it for the November Amazon haul. I would love to hear feedback from you. Let me know what you're interested in for next month, for December. Are you wanting to focus more on gifts from Amazon? Um, more like maybe heavier sweaters as we're moving into December. Just... Let me know. I'm leaning towards sweaters and coats because that's kind of what I'm personally eyeing for December. But of course, I would prefer to get what you want to see because I'm not the one who's watching these videos. You are. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this and maybe found a few things that caught your eye and I will see you in the next one. Bye.